Hi everyone. No, it's been a long time. Um, hope everyone's feeling well. Um, it's lovely to be back and doing another quiz. Um, it's been quite a busy time um, for us over in Derby. Um, my daughter, my oldest daughter, went off to university uh, a few weeks ago now, missing out a lot. Um, but I think she's starting to settle in well. Um, unfortunately, I lost my auntie last week as well. So, um, yeah, it's been a very busy time. And, of course, I've been back to school and, and started the new term with a new, new group of children. Okay, so a lot is going on. Hence, hence the reason that the quiz hasn't happened, you know, before. So, yeah, hope you're all rearing to go. Um, and you've seen the four, four lots of rounds that I've put on already. So you should have had the picture round. You should have had um, the child stars round. You should have had the mashup round. And you should have had the anagrams as well. Okay, so here we go. Hope everyone can hear me. Can you just check that you can hear me okay? If you can just give me a thumbs up. Yay, hi Marie. Mm -hmm. Bit buzzy. Okay, let's just shift things around a little bit. Okay, how's that? Is that better? <laughs> yes, brill. Okay. Okay, right. Off we go then. Okay, so hopefully you've seen the picture round. I think there was a few tricky ones on there this week. But as you can appreciate, we're running out of um, options now. So we had to really dig deep to, you know, find some artists and um, groups that we haven't done before. And I've got a feeling that there could be a, a duplicate on there this week. OK, so anyway, so we won't go over the pictures anymore. Part two, we decided to do something a little bit different this week. And we've done like a mashup round let us know if you like this okay so there's two celebrities like mashed up into one picture okay so we are looking for um 12 names so there's two per picture of course on that round i thought they were quite good okay and Round two of part B was child starlets. So um, well-known artists, I would say, as children. Um, can't give any more clues away than, than that. So we are looking for five names on that round. So, of course, there's a double, double picture there. Excuse me if I sneeze, by the way. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. I could feel my nose tickling them. So I knew it was coming. <laughs> right, okay. So let's go on to round three, which is our usual doubles round. Okay. So first question on round three is, can you name three artists who all had hits with Call Me? So can you name three artists or groups, singers, that had um, hits with Call Me? Of course, it's three points for that. It's not. We're not starting on a double question, actually. We're starting on a, a treble question. <laughs> <laughs> right, number two. Which singer sang Let's Get It On? So which singer sang Let's Get It On? 
And who did he duet with on You Are Everything? So there's a bit of a clue. So who did he duet with on You Are Everything? Okay, number three. No doubt I've had a hit with a cover of which Talk Talk song? So no doubt did a cover of which Talk Talk song? And can you name the lead singer of No Doubt? Okay, I know you've been crying out for Disney questions as well. <laughs> and that's another one that we're struggling with a little bit. Well, I am. Oh, yeah, right. Ian's rubbish at those. So <laughs> uh, I think I'm having to dig deep as well to find some now. So number four, which Disney movie has the song Little April Showers in it? So which Disney movie has the song Little April Showers in it? And the main character's best friend was what type of woodland animal? So the main character, he had a best friend. And what type of woodland animal? Was it? <clears throat> okay, number five. Which Muppet character had a hit with Halfway Up the Stairs? I'm sure if you're as old as we are, you'll get that one. Easy. So which Muppet character had a hit with halfway up the stairs. And can you name the drummer in the Muppets? So there you go, look, you've got two lot like, animated questions this week to make up for no more Disney. Okay, number six, which grime artist had an album called Heavy Is The Head? So which grime artist had an album called Heavy Is The Head? And what famous festival did they headline? So what famous festival did they headline? And a bonus point here. Did they headline on the Friday, Saturday or Sunday? So the bonus question is, did they headline... And the Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Okay, number seven. Who had a hit with Blue Hotel? So who had a, a hit with Blue Hotel? And can you name... Their other song that reached number 10 in the UK charts and featured in the film Wild at Heart. So can you name their other song that reached number 10 in the charts 
UK charts and featured in the film Wild at Heart. Okay, number eight. Who are the hit in 1992 with Hey, What's Going On? So who had a hit in 1992 with Hey, What's Going On? And how many members were there? So the second part of that question is, how many members were there? Okay, number nine. Which band had hits with Walking Down Your Street and If She Know Sorry and If She Knew What She Wants? So which band had hits with Walking Down Your Street and If She Knew What She Wants? And can you name the two sisters in the band? Can you name the two sisters in the band? Okay, number 10, last one. Who sang Disco 2000 and Babies? Who sang Disco 2000 and Babies? And can you name the lead singer? Okay. Hoping everyone got on okay with the doubles round. I think there was a few easier ones in the doubles round this week. Let me know what you think. So we'll move on to round four. And we did have a request for this, for the 90s. Okay, so 90s, here we go. So it's lyrics from 90s songs. And we're getting one point for the song title and one point for the artist as well. Okay. And I think I have to give Ian credit for these this time because <laughs> he's done done them all, all the 90s <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> he's sat, he sat, sat behind me actually. So, I don't know if you can see. There you go, just hiding in the background. I'm over in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number one. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> I thought the doubles were easier, Simon, this week. Hi, Tim. Glad you've joined us. Marie, did you think they were easier or harder? Okay, <laughs> right, let's see what you think about the 90s then. I think this is an easy one to start you off. Okay, so number one, oh baby, baby, how was I supposed to know that something wasn't right here? So, oh baby, baby, how was I supposed to know that something wasn't right here? I think that's easy, easy peasy to get you started. Okay. Oh, hi, Jane. Glad you can join us. 
Okay, number two. I thought I saw a man brought to life. He was warm. He came around like he was dignified. He showed me what it was like to cry. So number two again. I thought I saw a man brought to life. He was warm. He came around like he was dignified. He showed me what it was to cry. Okay, number three. Easy peasy again. Hiya, Barbie. Hi, Ken. You want to go for a ride? <laughs> You've got to get that one. Connie, you're not easy, easy peasy, that one. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, number three again. Hiya, Barbie. Hi, Ken. You want to go for a ride? <laughs> okay, number four. This is a bit harder, actually. I want to stand with you on a mountain. I want to bathe with you in the sea. I want to lay like this forever until the sky falls down on me. I want to stand with you on a mountain. I want to bathe with you in the sea. I want to lay like this forever until the sky falls down on me. Okay, number five. Well, I tried to tell you so. Yes, I did. But I guess you didn't know. As I said, the story goes, baby, now I got the flow. Because I knew it from the start, baby, when you broke my heart. I'll do that again and I'll try and do it in a little bit of rhythm for you. <laughs> well, I tried to tell you so. Yes, I did. But I guess you didn't know. As I said, the story goes, baby, now I got the flow. Because I knew it from the start, baby, when you broke my heart. It's quite a tricky one, but I think... Yeah, some of you should get that one. Okay, number six. You've got to do both, Tim. One point for the song, one point for the artist. So number six. And I don't want the world to see me because I don't think they'd understand. When everything's made to be broken... I just want you to know who I am. That's quite a tricky one, actually. And I don't want the world to see me because I don't think that they'd understand. When everything's meant to be broken, I just want you to know who I am. That's probably the hardest one. Okay, number seven. Hey, Rainmaker, come away from that man. You know he's going to take away your promised land. Hey, good lady, he just wants what you got. You know he'll never stop until he's taken the lot. I'll try and do that one in a little bit of rhythm again. Hey, Rainmaker, come away from that man. You know he's going to take away your promised land. Hey, good lady, he just wants what you got. You know he'll never take, he'll never stop until he's taken the lot. Okay, number eight. I think this one should be quite easy. 
with the lights on, sorry, with the lights out, it's less dangerous. Here we are now, entertainers. I feel stupid and contagious. Here we are now, entertainers. Number eight again. With the lights out, it's less dangerous. Here we are now, entertainers. I feel stupid and contagious. Here we are now, entertainers. Okay, number nine. You make me laugh, give me your autograph. Can I ride with you in my in your BMW? You can sail with me in my yellow submarine. So number nine again. You make me laugh, give me your autograph. Can I ride with you in your BMW? You can sail with me and your yellow submarine. And number 10. When all else fails and you long to be something better than you are today, I know a place where you can get away. It's called the dance floor and here's what it's for. So number 10 again, when all else fails and you long to be something better than you are today, I know a place where you can get away. It's called a dance floor and here's what it's for. Okay, hoping you got on okay with the lyrics to the 90s. So it was a point for the artist. And a point for the song there. Okay, so moving on to the last round, which was round five. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so number one, so these were all October birthdays again. So it was just one point for the correct answer. So ponds go go, and it's a nosy canine friend, five and four. Number two, Hen Joe. Leon. <laughs> Imagine an insect leader. Four and six. Number three. Upon males, two men linked to the graduates. And it's four and five, that one. Number four, mine, me, two alphabet letters, six, so it's one word, that one. Number five, canal live eye, ice cream slushy, seven and three. Number six, Claws Pie Laid, Scottish singer you may have loved. Five and six. Number seven, Injured Wales, Shakey's Girl in Scottish University. Five and seven.
number eight, Canon Meld Bye Bye Pastry Man, three and six. Number nine, Park Try Ye, two alphabet letters making a fizz. And it's four and five. Oh, okay. Number six. No, it was number four that's only got six in it, Simon. Oh, yeah. So that should be actually, sorry, five and seven. It should. Number six should be five and seven, not five and six. Just spotted that. So on to number 10. is nimble soon and it's cow maybe in french sweet shop five two three yeah so number six just to clarify that is five and seven for the answer okay so I'll give you a minute or so just to sort out your um, answers. Okay, there was a total of 84 points tonight. Okay, let's see how everybody's got on. I was going to ask as well if anybody's got if we're going to think of doing another one it could possibly be um the end of november or beginning of december um for the next one um so yeah we will do like a christmas theme for it um but also if you've got any suggestions for other rounds and also if anybody's got any preference, because I know there's a couple of people. <laughs> when I first said I was going to do it on the Wednesday, a couple of people was like, oh, yeah, that's better for me. So um, would, it, um, would it help if we did it on a Wednesday? Would that um, interfere with anybody's plans? Okay, I'm just like putting some feelers out there for people. Okay, right, here we go then. So answers to the picture rounds. Okay, there was a few tricky ones. Okay, so number one is quite a young um recent singer and it's Sigrid. I know Ellie had been to see her in concert and said that she was really good. Went to Rock City in Nottingham. Okay, so that was A Sigrid. B Simon Cowell's friend <laughs> Sunita. She always seems to be his like um, pal of judge, doesn't she? You know, when he's doing like the X Factor and he wants um, someone to assist him. Okay, C. I would have struggled with this one, actually. I think it's Metallica. I don't think I could even name a Metallica record, if I'm honest. Never really been a 
heavy rock into Sandman. Oh yeah. But never been into like fresh metal or heavy metal music. Okay, D. Was I think one of the first like boy bands really. It was like put together. It's the Backstreet Boys. I think they were on one of our questions that had sold the most albums, which surprised me. So, yeah, the Backstreet Boys there. Hey, well done, Simon. Okay, E, he's got old Jimmy Somerville. The notes that he can reach is epic. Then if you've seen the film Pride, um, he's, in, he's in that and yeah, he can blast out a tune, Jimmy can. <laughs> F, one of my favourite bands, James, with Tim Boothair at the front. <laughs> G, might have been a tricky one. There's the Moody Blues. H. Okay, if you know your recent bands, that's the 1975, not 1972. <laughs> it might say 1972 on the answer. It is a 1975. And... Ah, yeah, I think we've done this one before. It's Jerry Lee Lewis. Jay, you have definitely not done. Carol, De Carol Decker, lead singer from Tapau, and then went on to have, you know, solo, solo, solo success afterwards. But she's got a really powerful... Voice too. Okay. Don't know if I would have got this one either. Pink Floyd. Never really got into Pink Floyd either. L. Yeah, but everybody got this one. Simon, you had to get this one. <laughs> Abba. M. I probably would have got this one, the Who. And O was good old Cindy Lauper. Saw her on telly actually recently. She still looks really good. And P, I think that last one should say P. One of my favourite singers, James Bay. I think he's got a great voice. Okay, anybody get all of those right? All 15. No, I would have liked struggled on the rock ones. I think myself, Marie. Point taken, no more rock questions. Yeah, we could have a couple, but <laughs> like you say, we are having to um, really think hard now about the, so some of them may come round again. Maybe just have to pick different pictures this time. Okay, so round two on the pictures was I think the child starlets one yeah so parts no sorry was the mashup mash yeah the mashup pictures okay so again we were looking for two points per answer oh, that's not bad Simon seven oh finding those tricky this week um Okay, I wonder how you got on on the next one. 
So picture one was a mashup of Katy Perry and Rihanna. Uh, so Katy Perry and Rihanna. Okay, picture two, if we're going across, is Bono and Ed Sheeran. So Bono and Ed Sheeran. Number three was all the Justins, Justin Bieber and Justin Timberlake. In number four is Mick Jagger and Harry Styles. So Mick Jagger and Harry Styles. I think number five was the hardest, actually. Yeah. So... It's Taylor Swift and Emma Stone, who was in La La Land, of course. So she's more of an actress than what she is a singer. <laughs> no. <laughs> I could maybe see the Jason Donovan. Um... Or oh, Russell Watson, actually, yeah. <laughs> No, you said it. Number three, Ian. Jason Donovan and Russell Watson. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can see yeah. that, can't you now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. And uh, number six was Cher and Britney Spears. Yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that round for a little bit of fun and to do something a bit different. <laughs> so there was a possible 12 points on that one for you. Yeah, that's that one again. I've run out of ideas off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an idea actually for a Christmas one for that. So we could disguise people in Christmas, Christmas outfits maybe. You know, like Christmas emojis on them. Yeah. So that, that might work. Was. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Nine. Got some nines there. Nines, yeah, that's brilliant. Okay. So round two. The second part was the young starlets. Okay, number one was probably quite hard. It is a young Taylor Swift there. So she's featured twice in the pictures this week. And going across again, number two. Is Justin Bieber. So again, featured twice this week. Oh, I think you've got to have got number three. The Gallagher's. So we've got Liam on the left, and Noel on the right. Doesn't Liam look a cutie on there? <laughs> yeah. It's the eyebrows. <laughs> so, I think um, as he matured, maybe the cute cuteness um, disappeared a bit. <laughs> and I think number four was probably the hardest one there. It Definitely. is Ellie Golden. So obviously she's very blonde now. I think you can see in the eyes when you, you when you're told. Yeah, but Ellie Golden there. Okay, so did anybody get a full four marks there? Oh Marie's doing well, three. Was it the Ellie Golden one that you found hard?
Okay, points for doubles then. So name the three singers that had hits with Call Me. Of course, Blondie. Oh, never mind, Simon. Oh, what was A on the first round? That was Sigrid. She's Norwegian. I'm trying to think off the top of my head what her song was called. That was one of yours this week. Yeah. I think you'd know it. It's quite a poppy tune and it was, you know, it was quite well known at the time. Okay, so going back to question one from round three is Blondie, of course, Go West and Spania. I think she was from Spain, wasn't she? I think so, yeah. Yeah, as well. Yeah. I think she was a one-hit wonder. She, I'm all I remember is she was kind of dressed in military attire and she had these like big boots on that she like stomped around the stage with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two. Which singer sang Let's Get It On? Of course, it's good old Marvin Gaye. Sure, most of you got that one. And he duetted with Diana Ross on You Are Everything. And no doubt had a hit with It's My Life, which was a cover of a Talk Talk song. And the lead singer, of course, is Gwen Stefani. So it's my life and Gwen Stefani. Right, number four. Which Disney film is Little April Showers from? It is Bambi. It goes... Drip, 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 little April showers. That's how it starts. And of course, Bambi's favourite friend in there was a little skunk. I think people should have a point, people should have a point for Thumper, the animal. Because I think he was friends with Thumper as well. You Thumper think the so? rabbit. Yeah. Well, okay, if you've got Thumper, Thumper <laughs> or the skunk. Thumper the rabbit. <laughs> so giving you extra points is being very lenient <laughs> okay so number five keeping on the um the theme of the animated characters is which Muppet character had a hit with Halfway Up the Stairs? It was Kermit, of course. Kermit the Frog. And, of course, Animal was the drummer in the Muppets. So Kermit the Frog and animal. So you wouldn't like it, Alan, then if we did a whole Disney round, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I think we would struggle for a whole Disney round, actually. Unless we did Star Wars in there, because Star Wars is Disney now. Yeah, but what songs can you think of on Star Wars? <laughs> it's a music quiz. <laughs> Darth Maul's March. <laughs> right, number six. Which grime artist had an album called Heavy is the Head? 
It is Storm Z. Oh, Gay says it was Robin, not Kermit. For her work was there. Uh, that's my childhood gone. I thought it was I thought it was Kermit. You have to go and check now. Right, and which famous festival did he headline? Of course, it's Glastonbury. And he headlined on the Friday night. So that's Stormzy, Glastonbury, and your bonus point was for Friday night. Didn't Kermit join him then with it? Ah, so Rob, Robin, Robin did it in the episode, but Kermit took the glory and did it as a single, so I think you can have both. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So it looks like they've both done a version of it. Thank you for that, Gay. That's really good knowledge. Didn't know if you realise that. Yeah. And number seven then. Who had a hit with Blue Hotel? It was Chris Isaac. And of course, his famous song that got to number 10 and was from mm -hmm. Wild at Heart is Wicked Game. That was probably more famous, Wicked Game. Number eight, who had a hit in 1992 with Hey, What's Going On? It was Four Non Blondes. And how many members were in the band? Guess what? <laughs> there was four. <laughs> We did think, is that too easy or is it going to throw people a little bit? But, of course, you had to get the answer right anyway to get the second part right. So, yeah, it's four. And number nine, one of my favourite bands of the 80s. Who had a hit with Walking Down Your Street? And if she knew what she wants, it's the Bangles. And the two sisters were Vicky and Debbie. And of course there was Susanna Hoffs and then there was Michael, and I forget her surname. And I think it was Vicky and Debbie Patterson, I think. But yeah, they had some good songs, the Bangles did. I think um, Susanna Hoffs has made um, a song with Travis as well. I'm sure I heard it on the on the radio. So, yeah, it could be because they've, they've got a new album coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and number ten, last one. Who sang Disco Two Thousand? Of course, and Babies. It's Pulp, and the lead singer is Jarvis Cocker. So, Pulp for one point, and Jarvis Cocker for one point. So, I think there was two extra bonus points, wasn't they? So, you could have got 22 in total there. Hey, Marie, you're going strong tonight. 20 points. Well done. Now, as Alan and Simon getting on, and Jane... <laughs> Hey, you're coming good now, Simon. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't so good for you then, Jane, that round. Let's see if the 90s proves uh, more fruitful. Hey, 18, that's your best round in Ireland so far. Okay, so remember these raw 90s hits and one point for the artist, one point for the song title. So, oh baby, baby, how was I supposed to know that something wasn't right here? It is Britney Spears with Baby One More Time. I'm sure you all remember the video with her in the school uniform. 
going through the high school. So it got a few pulses racing with the boys, that one. And number two, I thought I saw a man brought to life. He was warm. He came around like he was dignified. He showed me what it was to cry. It was the very beautiful Natalie Umbrulia Breton. Now, if you didn't get number three, where were you in the 90s? <laughs> so, hiya, Barbie. Hi, Ken. <laughs> you want to go for a ride? Sure, Ken. Jump in. <laughs> it was Barbie Girl. So, even if you didn't get the group, you should have got Barbie Girl. And the group was called Aqua. I think they did have... Um, a couple of other songs. Would they have Mr. Jones? They did, call Mr. Jones. Call Turn Dr. Back Time. Calling Dr. Well. Jones, was it? Yeah. Turn I Back think. Time as well. Turn Back Time, yeah. From sliding Doors. Um, okay, number four. I want to stand with you on a mountain. I want to bathe with you in the sea. I want to lay like this forever until the sky falls down on me. I think this was a tricky one actually. It's truly madly deeply by Savage Garden. And uh, number five. Well, I tried to tell you so, but I guess you didn't know. As I said, the story goes, baby, now I got the flow. Because I knew it from the start, baby, when you broke my heart. I had to think about this one. Of course, once you get like one of the lines in your head, it's Mark Morrison, Return of the Mac. He was quite famous in the Derby, Derby nightclubs at the time, the Pink Coconut. Didn't you say he's from Leicester? He is, he's from Leicester, he's a big Leicester City supporter. Yeah. I saw him at the ground once at half time. So yeah, it came up, came up the road to Derby to come and frequent the pink coconut a few times. Okay. So number six on the lyrics. And I don't want the world to see me because I don't think that they'd understand when everything's meant to be broken. I just want you to know who I am. That's a tricky one, actually. I love the song. It's by the Goo Goo Dolls and it's Iris. And the Wanted did a version of it as well afterwards. <laughs> what did she think to it? Obviously, it's not been around for a long time now, the pink coconut. <laughs> I think it shut down about 10 years ago. It was the in place in, in Derby at the time. It was. <laughs> it's where I met my ex-husband in the pink coconut. So. <laughs> um, that's another story. Okay, number seven. Vaguely remembers. That means she had a good night then. <laughs> number seven. Hey, Rainmaker, come away from that man. You know he's going to take away your promised land. Hey, good lazy, he just wants what you got. You know he'll never stop until he's taken the lot. And that was Step On by the Happy Mondays. You can probably just about see Charlie, my cat, in the background there, look. Just settling himself down on the um, back of the chair. Or yeah, oh, I think he's actually gone on the radiator, look. Oh, you can't see him now, like he's hiding. Oh, there you go, look. Sleeping on top of the clothes, look, on the radiator. He's not daft, is he? <laughs> oh, 
I think Sotty's gone upstairs with Kira. Okay, so number eight, with the lights on, it's less dangerous. Here we are now, entertainers. We feel stu I feel stupid and contagious. Here we are now, entertainers. Oh, I've danced to this many a time. It smells like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. The famous dropout. I tell you about lots of times. Yeah, that was that was a regular. That was where everybody was like moshing around. Okay, number nine. You can make me laugh. Give me your autograph. Can I ride with you in your BMW? You can sail with me in my yellow submarine. It's supersonic by Oasis. Oh, I've not seen them on Gogglebox. Are they really good? Apparently Sean and Bez are on Gogglebox. Celebrity one. No, oh, right. Okay. Okay. Number 10. When all else fails and you long to be something better than you are today. I know a place you can get away. It's called the dance floor. And here's what it's for. Of course, it was the famous Vogue song. I can't say that. I actually was very good at doing the Vogue dance. Probably not as choreographed as that or coordinated to do the Vogue dance, but... Here you go. <laughs> so yeah, well done. If you got a possible 20 points on that round, 18, still good. So it was five. Oh yeah, Mark Morrison. I think that was a tricky one, Marie, this week. Got some scores coming in. Oh, Jane, did you find that one tricky this week? What's your favourite era then, Jane? We haven't done the noughties. Yeah, we did think that. We've probably not done a noughties round. Eighties, yeah. You see, I'm probably eighties better on eighties. I can picture where I was in the eighties, and I'm better at you know naming the year on the eighties as well. Got lots of eighties coming through. We'll have a think what we can do different than about the eighties. Okay, right, okay, last round. It was the anagrams. It's um, number one. Again, these are all October birthdays. Number one was Nosy Canine Friends. And it was Snoop Dogg. And his birthday is... Is it the 20th today? No. Today, yeah. Yeah, so it's his birthday today. Snoop Dogg on the 20th. Okay, number two. Better we having just eat <laughs> Yeah. Maybe he's got a good old juicy bone uh, thing. <laughs> right, number two. Imagine an insect leader. John Lennon, of course, his birthday would have been the 9th, the 9th of October. Sadly, um, yeah, I don't know how many years it is now. 
What's that in the 80s or the 90, early 90s? It's the, I think it was the early, early 80s. Early 80s. I'm thinking mm. about 8081. Famously can't make an anagram out of his name. No, yeah, we struggled with that one. Okay, number three. Two men linked to the graduate. Hoping that wasn't too tricky a clue. It was Paul Simon. And his birthday was the 13th of October. Is it 40 years, is it, Jane? Wow. 1980. 1980. Gosh. Okay, number four is two alphabet letters. Ian looked at me a bit gone out when I said this one. <laughs> so maybe it's the way that my mind works. M and M and N. Perhaps it's because I'm a teacher. When we do the alphabet song with the yeah, little children. Good. It's a good one. <laughs> so his birthday is the 17th. And uh, number five, ice cream slushy is vanilla ice. His birthday is on Halloween on the 31st. Can you just check whose birthday it was for me again? It would have been a comment right at the beginning. Okay, yeah. On one of the pages, please. Yeah. Thank you. And Scottish singer, you may have loved, Lewis Capaldi. Number seven, Shaky's Girl. In Scottish University. That's Julie Andrews. Again, Ian looked at me going out when I said that one. <laughs> but everybody must remember, whoa, whoa, Julie. I <laughs> just seem to play that at our school disco all the time. Uh, number eight. Bye bye, pastry man. This was yours, wasn't it? Which was a good one. Yeah. And that is Don McLean. Of course, he's famous for American Pie. And his birthday is the 1st of October. And number nine, two alphabet letters making a fizz. And again, this is probably the way my brain works. Katie mm -hmm. Perry. <laughs> Perry's cheap sparkling fizz. Her birthday is the 25th, so this week, Friday. Uh, number 10. Cow, maybe, in French sweet shop. So Simon Le Bon. And his birthday is this week as well, Sunday, the 27th. So actually the start of next week, the 27th. Okay, so did anybody get a full 10 marks for the anagrams? Did you work out the birthday for me? Yeah, it was Martin. Martin Lewis's was on Sunday. Ah, yes. Last Sunday just gone the 18th. So, so happy birthday. Yeah, Martin, um, happy birthday for last Sunday. Hope you had a great day. And um, I think it's Martin that's out for his tea tonight, but he's going to catch up with a quiz afterwards. Oh, my first crush was Simon Laban. He was pretty hot, actually. <laughs> I, I liked um, Roger Taylor, the drummer, better. Oh, well done, Linda. We did better than we thought. Got nine. Awesome, good. Oh, Jules, never mind. So 
I'm just asking people whether they'd be happy if I swapped it to a Wednesday, maybe. Um, and I might even bring it forward, you know, to seven o'clock again. So just putting some feelers out there at the moment to see what people want to do. Um, so the next quiz probably will be, in all honesty, the first week in December, I think. Probably the first week in December will be the next quiz. Okay, because I've got um, my daughter's birthday at the end of November. Um, and a few, you know, a few other bits coming up. In fact, October, November is an influx of birthdays <laughs> for my family. So I know some of them aren't um, listening, but happy birthday to Peter, you know, who's on the 28th of October. Happy birthday to my brother, who's also called Ian, on the 30th of October. Happy birthday to my sister, Fiona. She's on the 11th of November. And happy birthday to my daughter, um, Ellie, who's on the 21st of November. So they'll all be um, celebrating before before the next quiz. Anybody that yeah, you want to add? In. No, no, nothing for me at the moment, no. Okay. <laughs> um... So, yeah, you'll be able to catch up on the quiz, Jules, so it'll be on here. Okay, so I hope everybody's enjoyed the quiz tonight. And, yeah, we do have lots of birthdays <laughs> at that time, yeah. Lots of partying. Wednesday, 7pm, fine, doing quiz on my own tonight. My wife, Gillian, works till 8pm on a Tuesday. Okay. So yeah, it, um, Wednesday could be better. Um, so we'll, we'll keep you posted. Um, off to watch the Forest match now. <laughs> if you wondered why I was doing the quiz early <laughs> tonight, I didn't realise it clashed with the Forest match. Not sure whether there's any score yet. I normally get an alert up on my phone. <laughs> so... It could be nil nil still. Yeah, that's a surprise. I ain't got a list on my phone. So, anyway, take care, everyone. And um, be lovely to see you again on the first of first week in December. We'll let you know, probably like say, whether it's going to be a, a Tuesday or a Wednesday, what time. If you've got any requests, if you've got any suggestions, but Definitely do um, Chris, a Christmas theme and probably try and do an eight, something to do with the 80s. Um, yeah. Well, that, we'll put our brains together and have a, and have a think anyway. <laughs> That's like you're cut off there. Uh, That's a bit better, isn't it? That's yeah, you, you're cut, cut, <laughs> cut, cut, cut off half a face. If you, yeah. Okay. Anyway, take care, everyone. Yeah. Thank you again. Thanks for all your time and your support and for turning up as well. We appreciate it. Okay. Makes it all worthwhile. See you soon. All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Ooh.